Hey Gary, it was great speaking with you today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go over three things that you can do to beat your competition. I'm also going to take a look at what your competition is already doing. Uh, and if you implement these three things, you will be able to take more uh, market share or more customers. Uh, they're, they're ripe for the taking right now. So those three things I'm going to go over are content, citation, and backlinks. Content is a big deal. Content is the, the heart of everything here. It's the base, the foundation that everything's built on. So Google's looking for about 1,500 words or so of content in order to find relevance on your site. All that really means is they want enough content on there so that they know you, you are what you appear to be. So in your content, you're going to want to make sure you have the keywords. And all that really means is what people are searching for. So asphalt paving Orlando, Florida, for instance, is something people are searching for to find your service. So you want to make sure you have that exact phrase on your page somewhere so somebody can be so you can be found for it. So uh, making sure you add content to your site would, would help out tremendously. It's a clean looking site. I do like it. Um, another just tip was a call to action in the, in the big header here is always good. I see you got it up here. Might want to put it down. Uh, definitely helps with conversion rates. All right. So I did uh, pull asphalt paving Orlando, Florida over here to see who is popping up for it. Uh, I did not see you in the top here. Of course, you got uh, the ads, and those are always a good good thing to get just a surge of uh, customers if you're in need. The map pack here is where a lot of the clicks go for service type jobs. People are just looking for somebody in their area to be able to do the job. So how do you get ranking in here? Well, you get more citations in your competition. What's a citation? Well, a citation is your name, address, phone number, and business URL being listed in a directory. A directory is basically like a phone book. If you think of anywhere that you can go to get a list of businesses, Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, uh, you name it, there's, there's thousands of them out there. Making sure you have more citations than your competition will help push you up this ranking here. The second biggest factor to rank in this map pack is actually ranking organically. So getting up to the top organics and having a Google business page will help you move up. So how do you get to the top of the organics? Well, you have content, like I, I mentioned, citations and backlinks all feed into ranking in the organics. So if we take a look at uh, your competition here that's ranking in the top spot, they have uh, good keywords in here, asphalt paving contractor services in Orlando. So that's why they're, they're coming up with asphalt paving Orlando, Florida there. They've got those keywords in here. They've got a lot more content in here. Uh, and this is what's helping them uh, rank. So adding more content to your site is going to be a big deal. All right. So taking a look at all asphalt services here. This looks like a lead generation site, which just means they're just trying to generate leads, which is perfectly fine. Um, they They need some more content as well but they are ranking a little bit higher so let's take a look at the back end behind the scenes what's going on so backlinks what is a backlink a backlink is a link from one website to another it looks like you have uh, some backlinks on your site so maybe you hired a company back in 2019 or just got started either way this is um, this is good at least you're doing it I, I would just offer some advice here right now you're getting good topical stuff which all that means is it's relevant uh, you should start looking for more powerful sites so in the end this is a popularity contest Google wants the most popular sites to rank how do you become more popular you get the popular people to point to you and that's all this is so if you go to a more powerful website like a news station get a link from a news station or something like that that will bring more power to your site so the takeaway from this is getting more powerful backlinks uh, in order to rank. Uh, I don't know if I defined a backlink, so I'll do that real quick. A backlink is just a link from one website to another. So if you think about uh, someone writing a blog or you know uh, a news article and they leave a link to your website on their website, that'd be one backlink and the referring domain would be that website. So having more backlinks than your competition will definitely help out. So 
you have more backlinks, they have a stronger domain rating. What that means is they have a more powerful, oh, I got this set up wrong. It's going to populate more here. So they have more backlinks, more powerful backlinks than you do. Let's go and make sure I got this one set up right as well. They've got a lot of backlinks. And let's see if you've got more than I expected. I don't think so because we we're already looking at the home page. But anyways, all right. So they've got a lot of backlinks and that is giving them quite a bit more power. And same with these guys. They're, they're just beating you in the trust factor. Anyways, the takeaway is adding more backlinks, good quality backlinks content and citations and this will help you out tremendously um, if you don't mind just give me some feedback i'd really appreciate it we're just trying to help out small business owners and giving them the the tools and information they need to be able to move their businesses forward all right i look forward to hearing from you and uh, we'll talk soon thanks